nothing has changed. Um, the office still exists as far as the staff. Investigations are continuing. Uh, nothing has ceased. Um, and we're ensuring that uh, everything is progressing as it should be. The funds that I'm asking for is more than what would have existed before. There is cost savings as far as in the operations itself. There will be cost savings in leasing costs. Um, and then when we look at uh, also the consolidation of the services, so when you look at HR, finance, uh, the different support staff, uh, that can be provided by Elections Alberta. There has always been a high number of uh, complaints during an election period. Um, the extra attention uh, by the public. There is additional legislation, um, so then the volume of complaints will increase because there's more political entities that are legislated. The number of complaints are pretty much as expected, uh, in my opinion, and, and uh, a lot of the complaints that are received aren't jurisdictional. So it's just a matter, but it does take time to work through those complaints. Uh, they all have to be reviewed and addressed. Keys here within this budget is that it's actually costing $100,000 more to have the Elections Commissioner moved into Elections Alberta. It is not saving Albertans any money. The reason for that is that if you look at his budget, the Chief Election Officer asked for an additional $100,000 a year on top of what the Election Commissioner was already asking for. The UCP will say, well, no, we're actually saving $390,000. In fact, if you look at the election commissioner's budget from last year, it was $390,000 more, but he had already removed it from his budget. And now what's happening is, is the, election, the CEO of Elections Alberta is actually asking for another $100,000 on top of that. So the difference uh, between last year's budget and this year's budget was already happening within the budget. So the UCP are not even saving the $390,000 that they're talking about. It was already in the estimates that the commissioner had provided to our committee prior to him being fired. I don't want this to be about Mr. Ressler. I don't think that that's fair. And I know the UCP try to make this about individuals and not about actions. The issue that Albertans should be concerned with is the fact that this UCP government fired someone who is currently investigating them and moved him into the CEO of Elections Alberta's office. This is not about Elections Alberta being able to do a good job. This is about the fact that this government is intervening in investigations.